Welcome back to the Field of 68 After Dark. We are live right now on Sirius XM Channel 84. That is the ESPNU station. We are also streaming live on YouTube and on Twitter. If you're watching this on YouTube right now, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that like button. Jump in the chat. Have a conversation with us. Uh, we're going to be doing the afters here in about 10 minutes. Uh, we're going to be answering questions, interacting with you guys. It's going to be fun. We have Carter Elliott on the show. You never know what's going to come out of his mouth. So uh, we're playing a little bit of a game that producer Greg Waddell put together. It is called Start Bench Cut, which is essentially the uh, the FMK game that you played in middle school, just with a basketball version. So we're going to start in the Pac-12 because I want to talk about UCLA, Arizona, and USC more. So I'm going to you first, Carter, on this one. UCLA, Arizona. USC, who right now is tied with Arizona State at home, uh, start, bench, cut one of them. All right. So I'm cutting USC. I think that's 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 easy, honestly. Um, and I'm going to start UCLA, and I'm going to bench Arizona. I'm still wrong with the Bruins. Uh, I think that I still think Arizona has some things to figure out, to be honest. Uh, I think UCLA does, too. But I, I'm not all the way in on Arizona just yet. I still think they got some things to work out. They could get there. But what do they have to work out? I think that sometimes, you know, when they don't get things out of guys like I think consistency out of guys on their team. I'm going to butcher this name. I didn't want to have to say it, but Sabellis, Tabellis, <laughs> Azulis, Tabellis. Yeah, and no, I'm talking about. I think consistency hey, hey, out just, of him. Just so you guys know, just so you guys know, it may be 11.50 p.m. in the Eastern time zone right now, but the bank is still open in Fall Gallon Fieldhouse. Wow. I wish I could throw a virtual tomato for that joke. No, I think that's I, what I, I'm going with. I would just switch. I would. I'm starting Arizona. Uh, you know, it's funny. If you look at it position for position, UCLA is better at point. I give them the benefit of the doubt. Tiger Campbell over Creasa. I think Benedict Mathurin is the best wing out of both teams. And then, um, you know, inside, you got to go with Arizona because they're just so big. And uh, Coloco is a terrific rim protector. And that's without He's Tabellas. a monster. A monster. Yeah, I think I, think I would uh, go Arizona. I would start them. I'm going to bench UCLA. Um, and I'm cutting. I, I think I think USC is is probably the most overranked team in college basketball right now. Like they are just they're they're okay. I haven't played I anybody. I, I haven't played I might anybody. Cut USC and then like cut them twice and bring back Arizona or not sorry not Arizona Oregon and think about it again. I think those. Yeah. Are <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Look, we need to talk to producer Greg about the teams that he picked on that one. You know, I, I think <laughs> we, do we have to cut producer Greg. <laughs> Yeah, never. place him on waivers. We won't cut him. We'll put him on waivers. <laughs> I love the loyalty. You heard Carter say never. I love the loyalty. Start him. There you go. <laughs> Start him. All right. Uh, we can't do Kansas, Baylor, Texas Tech in the Big Twelve just yet. So we're going to go to uh, going to go to the SEC. We're going to do Kentucky, Auburn, and Tennessee. This one's going to be interesting. Uh, to for the people that don't know, you're from East Tennessee. I am. Yeah. Put you on I the spot. Am. Start. Bench cut Kentucky, Auburn, Tennessee. What do you got? Uh, I, I gotta, I gotta cut Tennessee because they just can't figure out their five position, and it hurts me because I love John Fulkerson. I, I, I love him as a human. I'm not, I, you know, he's trying to figure it out as a player right now, but I love him as a human. Uh, I'm gonna bench uh, Kentucky because we talked about their depth this morning. Once you get past that first five for Kentucky, you got to worry a little bit. Davion Mintz is a Creighton transfer, and he was a okay player at Creighton and you bring him into Kentucky that makes me worry makes me worry uh Auburn obviously I'm starting them because I picked them as number one in the country so they obviously you got to go with the best team in the country to start uh I'm cutting Tennessee <clears throat> I just don't think they belong in the other in the conversation with the other two teams and I kind of feel the same way about John Fulkerson I feel like people give him the benefit of the doubt because dads want their daughters to date a John Fulkerson type, but that doesn't, that doesn't necessarily get you wins on the basketball court. Um, I think I'm going to have to bench Kentucky just because I think they, I don't know. I still feel like they don't play their best lineup at all times. I feel like their best players aren't being utilized to the best of their abilities. Free my guy, Ty Ty Washington. Um, and then I will start the best team in the country right now at Auburn. 
So I'm going to, I'm going to be, I'm going to be the guy that's a little bit different. I'm going to start Kentucky here in this spot because I think at this point they're going to end up being the most underranked, underrated, undervalued, however you want to phrase it, the most under whatever team in college basketball right now. I think when they're at their best, their top seven can compete with any top seven in college basketball. Um, I don't think that people are going to value them properly because of the fact that their their last two losses at LSU and at Auburn, I think you can draw a direct line from injuries to Ty Ty Washington, injuries to Severe Wheeler, loss like this, right? So I don't know if it's just because now I want to bet them every time that they play until the market probably corrects itself, but I'm, I'm going to start Kentucky because I still am in on them as like a top six to eight team in college basketball. I'm still in on them as being a team that could potentially win a national title, can get to a final four. Uh, I'm in on Ty Ty Washington being a game changing talent. I'm just, I'm all the way in on Kentucky. So I'm going to start them. I'm going to bench Auburn. Um, we've been talking too much about Auburn. I think we just got to, you know, they're, they're getting a little bit too big for their britches at this point. Got to bring them down a little bit. Um, and I'm cutting Tennessee. They stink. Uh, all right, we're gonna go with Kansas, Baylor, and Texas. <laughs> we got, we got, we got four minutes left in the show. Um, we're gonna, I'm, we, we got to talk about it at some point. So let's go, Kansas, Baylor, Texas Tech. Uh, I want to let you guys assume whoever you want to assume is gonna win because we're tied with a minute left in double overtime right now. So Teal, I'm going to you on this one. Put you on the spot, man. It's gonna make me sick to my stomach to do this, but I got to cut Kansas. Like the inside <laughs> game has been so susceptible. Wow. And I love Kansas. I love Can I love Bill Self. I think he's terrific. I think they have such glaring holes to where I'm not sure Baylor does. Obviously, Baylor hasn't been playing better as of late, but I think defensively they are so good. And then Texas Tech, kind of for the same reason. I'm going to bench Texas Tech. I'm going to start Baylor because I just think the Scott Drew train is still going. That's crazy. I, I feel dirty. I feel dirty for even saying that right now. Yeah, let me let me go ahead and step in here and correct correct this absolute nonsense. <laughs> T.O., I love you like I love my – like my dad said, I love you like I love my five iron, but, oh, my <laughs> word, that is just – that's not going to work for me. Um, I'm cutting Texas Tech. Um, love Texas Tech. Love the way they go at Jeff Goodman. Always warms my heart. But I just think with the other two teams, they just don't necessarily belong to me right now all the way. So it hurts me, but I'm cutting Texas Tech. I'm going to bench Kansas and I'm going to start the Baylor Bears. A fully Texas healthy Tech Baylor might Bears. just might beat Kansas at Kansas. Are we watching the same game? Like, well, my stream might be behind, but also, you know, this, this is, this is one game too. Let's, hey, let's hey, T.O., I, I, I do have a question for you. The this is why, that's that, why I was given the benefit of the doubt. Well, listen, the last time the Texas Tech played Kansas, what happened before tonight? What happened? Who won? I'm pretty sure Texas Tech. Texas did, Tech. Correct? Texas Tech won. So I am yeah. starting Texas Tech in this conversation because there's been okay. nobody that's been more impressive. It's been more fun to watch. That has been more of a pleasant surprise in college basketball this season than seeing Texas Tech uh, maintain in the Big 12 while uh, the the coach that jumps ship has gone. To I Boston. think you really have to be a basketball head to say that Texas Tech is the best team to watch in the country. I can't believe I you didn't, just I didn't say last just, year as a point did I say the, to put did that I, as number one. Yeah, I so yeah, um, I'm, I'm all in on this Texas Tech team. Um, I'm going to bench Baylor just because I'm a little bit uh, – concerned about the size of their guards in the backcourt we can we'll we'll be able to go on this uh, a lot more in a different different pod different time when we have more than a minute left in the show um and i'm i'm benching kansas or i'm cutting kansas wow. and this uh, may cool. be this, kansas oh you guys are on hinge this may this may be <laughs> this may be a hot take i would start bill self i think i gotta cut his kansas roster man i i, I think that getting this team to 16 and 2 um, getting this team to being like a final four favorite that can win the big 12 is one of the, uh, the most impressive coaching jobs that Bill Self has done. He doesn't have a point guard and he doesn't have a five man. Um, but you know, Bobby, who does Pe have a point Bobby guard? Pettiford's going to be that dude. Yeah. You Wait know, for you know Bobby who, Pettiford, it's coming. You know, who does have a point guard, the field of 68 after dark. His name is Greg Waddell. He's our producer. You know, who does have a big man, the field of 68 after dark. His name is Carter Elliott. <clears throat> And you know who does have a shooter? Uh, it's the field of 68 after dark. His, His name, name is Rob is Doster. Terrence. His, His name, name is, is Rob Doster. <laughs> I'm dying over here. Thanks for being on the show. <laughs> you good? <laughs>